everyone, this is Darius Young, and welcome to uh, the first tutorial in the Modeling Lucario series. Uh, in this tutorial, we will be going over setting up your Blender scene so that you can um, get started modeling Lucario. If you're completely new to Blender, like you're just jumping in, you don't know what anything does, just go to YouTube and type in uh, Blender Tutorials for Beginners. They have uh, dozens of introduction to Blender's interface uh, tutorials. Uh, so just go there, familiarize yourself with the basic keyboard shortcuts, and come back. And with that basic knowledge, you should be able to follow along with the tutorial pretty well because the tutorial is geared toward beginners. But um, it'll be a bit difficult for you to catch along if you don't already know some of the basic keyboard shortcuts. So, that being said, let's get started. So, when you open up Blender, you get this blank scene here, and what we're going to do first is add a background image in there. Uh, now, uh, the image I will be using, the Lucario reference sheet here. You can find this reference sheet by going into Google and typing in Lucario character model sheet. I already have it downloaded, so what I'm going to do is, usually when you open up Blender, this panel won't be open, so what you do is you hit N on the keyboard to open this panel here, scroll down to where it says background images, click click on where background images, and then click the check, then click add image, then go to open, go to wherever you saved your image at, and open it. Double clicking. Okay, there. Now you won't see the image right now, but if I have five on the keyboard to go into orthographic view, and then I hit one on the number pad to go into the front view, uh, you see that I see my image here. Except there's a problem. I can see it. And when I hit seven to go into top view, when I hit three to go into right view, I can still see it. We only want it. We only want to be able to see this part in the front view. So what we're going to do is change from all views to front. There we go. Now, so the first thing that we're going to do with this image is move it on the x-axis. So we just expand this out. You can see which one is which. So this is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. Click on the X axis and type in these numbers exactly. Minus 1.6660. Okay. Negative 1.660. Type that in and hit enter. Now Lucario will be directly in the center of the, or the, the front picture of Lucario will be directly in the center of the screen here. And then next we will move it on the y-axis 4.8 so just type when it, just click on the y and then type 4.8 and enter and then there you go so now we can do something similar on the left side so when we hit 3 you see that there's no image so to add an image on this side, we go back to add image, we click it. Instead of going to open image, go to this little picture thing here next to the file, and you'll click on it, and you'll see our image is already auto-saved in there. So you click on that, the image is already loaded. Now we just have to duplicate the settings that we have here, but only for the y-axis. We can. Another thing that we're going to have to do before we do that is check flip horizontally. That way, the side view is facing this way. So, move this up on the y axis 4.8, and move on the x axis 1.6. So, 1.6. Let's see, right. Negative 1.6, my bad. So, if you already typed in 1.6, just go back and put a minus in front of that. 
it's going to let me. This is doing it negative. One more six. There we go. And now Lucario is in the center of the blue line on the left side as well. So if I hit one, now you can you can see that the left or the right view is overlaid with the front view. So in order to make this picture only stay on this view, you have to click all views and change it to right. Now if I hit seven, one we get our front view, three we get our right view. So that's good for this tutorial. Uh, in the next one, we will use this cube here and get the basic shape of the body down. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.